Hello, Fun Nation. My name is James here checking in with team number 2767 Strike Force here at the West Michigan District event. Strike Force brings the heat every single season, two time world championship team, and they've done it again this year. They've got coral, they've got LG mechanisms, they can climb, they got custom swerve drives. So much more to dive into here with Strike Force. Here I got Alex, Layla, and David. Let's find out more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com contest. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first-year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co-op. Whatever your interest, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. All right, Layla, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your drivetrain here on Strikeforce? What makes you guys so unique compared to the rest of first? So our drivetrain is fully custom made. Almost everything is 3D printed. This is our ninth generation. So we've been working on this for quite a while. Uh, we have a built-in suspension system along with the frame where the drivetrain is connected through these bolts here, which allow, and the frame is chromoly steel, which allows a lot of flex. So can you talk a little bit more about the climber um, and tell us a little bit more about how Strike Force is climbing the deep cage here in Reefscape? So this is our climber this year. Uh, we attach it down with a uh, with a servo motor. So can you hold this down here? So we undo the servo and then this flips out. Then with this ratchet system, we drive into the cage and these two uh, little prongs will grab onto the lip of the top of the cage. Then we also use these magnets with Teflon tape on top of them to help align the cage. Then with the ratchet, we'll pull this cord and pull it into the robot. And the one thing that helps us align correctly is the lights that we have on the top of our robot here and then on the side will change color depending on how deep into the robot it needs to be. And then that will uh, pull it up. Thank you, Layla. Very interesting to learn about. Alex, can you tell us a little bit more about some of the more coral and algae mechanisms on this robot, as well as your pretty unique lift in yeah. the middle? So all of our coral and algae mechanisms are all around our biscuit, which is down here. It's a minion with a big old gearbox. It's a Versa planetary and a belt reduction for the arm and everything mounted onto it. So we have this coral chute um, over here. It has a minion with a uh, lightweight versa planetary and a belt did all with a and then on the bottom there's these skates to um be low friction and we have these hoops to just have less surface area on the coral as it goes through um so first we have this big funnel it's uh polycurb and one thing that we have been doing is we don't cut through all the way as we're lightening it we go to like 50 ish thousandths and we make a really thin layer and it leaves a lot of the strength with staying as a single piece. Um, also with the funnel, we have 3D printed corner brackets that could make it all up if you want to look at it. Um, so coral goes through the funnel into our mechanism and it goes up for all the levels. The coral mechanism stays at a fixed angle through it all. Um, right next to it is our big algae arm. Um, a, we have a minion with a like a roughly an eight to one through these belts that spins this minion spins this wheel through all these belts um, we also have a beam break to tell when the ball is in and I think that's it so also, I sense a theme with your robot I see a lot of minions you yeah. know how many minions you have on this robot three four five six seven seven or eight minions Impressive. Yeah. It's, it's cool to see how you guys use that. Can you tell me a little bit more about your lift? I see a lot of carbon fiber. What was the design process like that? And how did you guys select three stages, stuff like that? So we've been going with carbon. We, the first time we used a carbon fiber elevator was maybe 18 or 19. We went to the carbon fiber elevator. But one thing that's new this year um, is we're the first time we're ever doing a continuous rigging elevator. 
So we have 40 feet of belt lifting it up. Um, it's a uh, uh, five millimeter HDD by like nine millimeter wide. Um, it's all carbon fiber and we have corner brackets that are 3D printed and they're actually only hot glued together. So if we need to change something, we can just heat it up and pull it apart. Um, and then it's a two stage. We just went with two stage because we had to go really high for this game and it was a good amount, I guess. Well, thank you, Alex. David, can we talk a little bit more about some of the software here on 2767? What makes you guys so dominant in the field of play? Absolutely. So this year in this robot, we've chosen to automate the coral scoring process. So all our driver needs to do is hit one button and the robot will drive itself to the correct position and score the coral. Um, this is all made possible through our vision system, our custom vision system, Walleye. Uh, this is the second year that we're using it. and. Um, it enables us to do all of this stuff. Uh, in Autonomous, we also have a very consistent recoil auton. Um, this is also made possible through our vision system and our auto placing capability. Well, thank you, David. I really appreciate that. Well, Team 2767, thank you so much for talking with us today. It's an honor. Best of luck throughout the rest of West Michigan, as well as the 2025 Reefscape season. Incredible robot. As for you, thank you so much for watching this episode of Behind the Bumpers. My name is James, signing off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. True competitors know that every second counts. That's why Kettering University challenges you to dive in right away as a first year student. Participating in robotics programs helps Kettering students secure a valuable co op. Whatever your interests, Kettering gives you more space to work faster and win faster. Learn more at kettering.edu slash first. First teams benefit when they optimize their robots utilizing Altair tools. If you're utilizing Altair, submit a video showing your optimization skills and potentially win up to $5,000 for your team or $2,000 for yourself each quarter from now until June 30th, 2025. Download Altair tools for free and view contest details when you scan the QR code or go to altair.com contest.